So now we've stripped all the uh, non-engine related wiring from this 2010 American Tribeca harness and we've uh, made it up to a uh, Australian EZ36 which is out of a 2010 Outback. So the Tribeca was EZ36 as well and we've checked the wiring and it's uh, pin for pin the same. So we've plugged it all in. Uh, the wiring's still rough at the moment. We've got to neaten it all up, wrap it all up, but we we'll, just thought we'd uh, give you a video before we do that. Um, we've just tested it to make sure it all works. So this is our new interface box. Uh, it's very similar to the old one. Um, it's just got a couple of extra fuses and uh, connection points, mainly to help with um, uh, the Subaru transmission, automatic transmission. So on this one here, the customer's gonna run the uh, five speed which is um, the gearbox that comes with the EZ36. So that's the transmission module there. We've got the engine control module underneath. Uh, we've got the body module here, which does the uh, security as well. So we've got the key in the barrel. Uh, it's got our new dash delete module. Uh, so that um, makes it so you don't have to run the uh, cluster because that's part of the immobiliser. So this is a big bulky cluster out of the Tribeca and we've uh, got it unplugged. And this wiring here also comes from the body module and this goes to the uh, gear shifter which has got all your tap shift so you put it in manual and uh, when it go up and down gears and uh, manualise the auto gearbox that's the wiring for that. So it does your um, inhibit as well. Uh, yeah, so it's made it up to the Australian engine. So mainly uh, all the engine wiring is this uh, big 54 pin plug. Uh, these two down here for the transmission. And this one's just an extra plug, which on the six cylinders does your uh, four O2 sensors. So you've got two each side, one pre-cat and post-cat. Uh, on this one here, the customer's not going to run the cats. So we've deleted the codes for the uh, rear O2 sensors. So you can see they've, uh, they're actually not connected on this one and we've just got the airflow meter and the other connection we've got is the alternator harness which runs back up into here back in the uh, interface box on the alternator plug um, all right so we'll give it a test so we've just got a basic ignition switch here which is just to uh, join these two plugs together you can see the uh, warning lights have come on. Uh, being a H6, this runs a uh, variable speed fan controller, so the fan relays are on constantly. Uh, that's also hooked up um, through here, so we've got the fan hooked up as well. And this is our uh, basic starter circuit. See the uh, fuel pump has come on, indication. And um, yeah, all the warning lights are going off, there's no error codes. We've turned all the, because uh, it's American loom, we've turned all the um, emissions components off because that's not needed to be run by the customer. Uh, we've sort of done all that in the tune. And yeah, we'll give it a bit of rev. So yeah, it works well. So yeah, we'll um, tidy all this up, wrap the cables and um, send it off to the customer. So this is the EZ36 harness again from the 2010 USA Tribeca. Uh, so we've wrapped it back up now um, and it's pretty much ready to go to the customer. So we've uh, hooked it back up again and we'll give it one last uh, test. So again, we've got the engine computer down here, the transmission computer, we've got the body module, uh, that goes to your shifter. I've got the dash delete, uh, the key and the key barrel. Uh, we've got the cluster plugged there as well, just in case, but um, don't need that plugged in with the dash delete. Um, oh, and these are just your reverse relays, uh, which aren't done by the interface box, so they're just um, loose there. And yeah, we've got the connections to the engine, um, the branch there and a branch there, and also the airflow meter and also connect to the box we've just got this uh, power wire to a battery uh, we've got this one going to our fuel pump these wires go to our uh, radiator fans and this wire here goes to our uh, temporary uh, accelerator pedal 
So yeah, I'll uh, hook it back up again. And again, we've got the lights have come on. And we'll give it a quick test. 